Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dank Ferric. Today we'll be asking the question, what if Malik never turned on Revan? But before we get into it, if you are new, please be sure to subscribe for regular content and to support this new Star Wars channel and growing. Also drop a like if you enjoyed the video, but let's now dive back into this theory on what if Malik never turned on Revan? In looking at the question, we have to remember a few things. The assets of Revan's empire, and the support it had, as well as the goals of Revan, should he never have fallen that day on the bridge of his command ship. But now, in order to really dig into this, we have to turn back the clock to the day he fell. The Battle Rages The Republic and the Sith have come into a confrontation in the cold of space. Revan and Malak are with their Sith fleet, and the Jedi Order has sent a Jedi strike team to kill or capture Darth Revan, ruler of the Sith. And in the original story, as Revan fights the Jedi on his bridge, Malak turns his own weapons on Revan's ship and betrays his master. Revan is rendered unconscious, and the Jedi capture him. But in our version, that will not have happened the same way. Instead, all is going the same up until that end point. Revan is on the bridge, commanding his fleet, and behind him still enters Bastila and the Jedi Strike Team. And at this point, with Revan uninjured and ready, Bastila and her fellow Jedi are no match for the Dark Lord of the Sith. So after a heated duel, Revan strikes them down, rendering all of the Jedi attackers dead. Now, this leaves Revan alive, and his empire strong and even more fueled for war, especially after this attack on the leader of the Sith. We have to also remember, Darth Revan was wildly charismatic and influential. He was a natural born leader. People felt the draw to follow him to the ends of the galaxy if needed. This happened in the Mandalorian Wars, when Revan led the final battles, taking many Jedi with him, fully going against the Jedi Council's commands to cease action. And to be clear, this influence, this charisma, is something his apprentice, Darth Malak, didn't have. This leads me to believe that if Revan kept ruling, more and more Jedi would have turned to the dark side and joined him, whether through the Korriban Academy or other methods. They would have continued to see their old friend, in general, and fellow Jedi, and saw that maybe his path wasn't so wrong after all. But we have to remember, this was the Jedi Civil War, a time when many but not all Jedi had conflict. With more Jedi coming to Revan, it would have dampened the Republic's pool of Jedi to tap into, and perhaps even turned the views of some citizens of Republic worlds all who at the time trusted the Jedi and even had personal relationships with them. So seeing a Jedi friend turn could have swayed them, the civilians, to also turn to the Sith cause. Now, with Darth Revan alive and not captured by the Jedi, the Sith are not weakened. They would stay strong and ruthless. Revan would press on his attacks on the Republic and continue bringing other worlds into Sith control either by invasion or a form of his own diplomacy, the latter being something that this Dark Lord was not always against at times. Even if Revan was ruling, I also suspect the culto of Manon and Manon itself had a good chance of leaning to his cause, even if it was by a forceful hand. Revan was a master at plotting and planning. If he happened to swing this world and its resources to his cause, it would have shifted much into his favor. It would have certainly hurt the Republic and aided the Sith war effort. And on top of that, Revan had the continuing resources of the Star Forge, an ancient factory that he knew much better than Darth Malak. So with Revan alive as Darth Revan, I feel more ships, droids, armor, and weapons could have been produced. I say this because it was clear that Malak understood what the Star Forge was, but he did not have a true understanding of it. But I do feel that Revan did, and that increased the output during his ruling of the Sith. So if he lived, there would be that as well. And with those items combined, and a few more unspoken events, I believe Darth Revan, if he was not turned on by Malak that day, would have pushed forward to build a strong Sith Empire, a ruling Sith Empire. 
gaining influence inside his ranks and outside of them as well, including the trust of the people and blurring the lines for non-force users on what is light and what is dark. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Revan could have created something to last? Let me know in the comments and be sure to like this video to get it out there. Until next time, may the force be with you and stay safe. I will catch you guys on the next one.